In this video I'm going to introduce how to use the CAD package 2D design. We're going to introduce some of the main tools in this CAD program um, by doing a really simple drawing together. So first we're going to set up the page, so we're going to make sure we've got the right size paper. I'm going to print setup, I'm going to use A4 landscape, click OK and then yes. So you'll see the page has a dotted grid to help us draw accurately. At the moment they're spaced 10 millimeters apart, so we're going to change that so they're spaced 5 millimeters apart. So if we double click on the grid icon on the top right hand side of the screen, we'll get a box that comes up and we can change the grid spacing from 10 to 5, then click OK and you'll notice the dots get closer together. All the drawing tools are on the left hand side of the screen. So we're going to start off by drawing a rectangle box around the page to create a border. You'll see if I hold down any of these tools, more options will appear. And we can select any of those options, but we just want a rectangle at the moment, so we're going to keep it on the first one. At the moment I can click anywhere because it's on step lock. If I click it to grid lock, you'll notice I can now only land on the dots, which allows me to be much more accurate. So click once to start the box and then click again to end it. So next we're going to draw a circle. So if we click on the circle icon, the first click is going to be the center point of our circle. So if we click around about here to start the center of our circle, then click again that five dots up. We're going to create a circle that has a radius of 25 millimeters. So next we're going to draw a second circle by using the contour tool. So we need to start by selecting the circle. So if we click on the arrow icon and then select our circle, if we hold down the contour icon, we're going to choose the second option across, which is um, contour selected object. Make sure that it says five millimeters in the spacing and that we're going outside the original shape and click OK. And our second circle will appear five millimeters away from the original. Our next line is going to be a simple straight line, but I wanted to start from the center of my circle. So we're going to use the attach tool. If we double click on the attach tool, which is the square on the right hand side of the screen, we're going to make sure that the center of the arc or circle is checked. And as long as the circle is within that square cursor, it'll automatically find the center of that circle. So we're going to hover over the circle it'll find the center and I'm going to go absolutely horizontally across to the outside of the page. I'm going to use the next tool to rotate this line around the center point of the circle. So if we start by selecting our line, we can then hold down this icon here and the third option across is rotate selected objects. Now we're going to rotate it 30 degrees, but we wanted to do so 11 times, so we're going to repeat it. So every 30 degrees it's going to draw another line. So click OK, then on the center point in which we want the lines to rotate around. And there we have our rotated lines. So the delete option on 2D Design can work in a number of ways. If we hold down delete any, We'll see there are other options, so delete inside of a box or delete part of an object between two intersections, which is what we want now. And then we can trim the ends of these lines off that go outside of our box. We can also trim the inside of these lines inside the circle as well. Now the thing to remember is that the undo last only works once, so if we click undo it turns to redo, so we can't go back more than one step into the design. So make sure that you're happy with each selection you make before you move on to the next. Once we've deleted our lines, we're going to draw part of a circle or an arc, which is the command next to the circle command up here. So if we select that one, we've got a start point, click, midpoint, and then the end point of that arc. When you're drawing lines, I do find it best to overlap them and then delete the end of the line afterwards. It means that we can be a lot more accurate. 
um, in making sure those lines actually meet. If we try to do it by eye, we'll often zoom in and find there's slight gaps between those lines. And these gaps can create problems if we're trying to laser um, something out or if we're trying to fill a space later on in our drawing. So next we're going to use the path tool, which is this one here. Now we're going to change it from grid lock to step lock so I've got more um, freedom where I can click. And a path tool allows us to do a curved line and every time I click it'll create another point that that curve will have to follow. So we're going to draw some hills. Again, I'm purposely overlapping where I want the lines to be so I can delete the ends later. So by overlapping those lines, I can be much more accurate, making sure everything meets and there's no gaps. And I can use the delete part of a line between two intersections to get rid of all the overlaps afterwards. The next tool is the fill or the hatch. So we're going to select the boundary fill settings and we're going to choose a colour that we want. So I'm going to have some green grass. Click OK and then we're going to select the area um, which says any islands. We do have an island because we're going to have more than one area that's green. So we'll click yes. That's going to be all of them. So click no and there is our filled space. We can do that with other colours. No islands in that one. And the next one is going to be a yellow. And I've got lots of islands in this one, so I'm going to click the first area. Other islands, yes. Again, and again until I've got them all. You'll notice the area that you've highlighted goes over in pink, so you know where your selected area is. We can also have different effects. So if we go to fill, I can have a graduated effect. So if I change the direction of my graduation, it's 90 degrees. We're going to change the color there so it fades from a deep blue. Let's go with the top one now. Um, deep blue to white, which is perfect. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to select my area. Now if I leave it at the moment, I'll have the middle of the sun going blue as well. So I'm going to choose that as an island so it doesn't go the same colour as the rest of it. And there we have our graduated blue sky. If we turn our grid off now, because we don't need that anymore, you'll notice it leaves some dots behind. So we can clean up the screen by clicking the redraw button, which is the one that looks like a windscreen wiper in the top um, right hand corner. And that brings everything back to the way you want it to be. So finally we're going to add some text by adding a name and our class to drawing. So if we click on the text icon, select where we want that text to be, and then type in our text box. Click on settings, and we can select the font and the size that we want our um, text to be. But don't worry too much about the size because we can resize it again afterwards, which we will probably end up doing. You can also change the colour and the line outline of the text as well. Once you're happy, click OK. And then OK again. If we click on our arrow, we can edit any line, not just the text, but anything that we've done. And we can grab the middle box to drag it around the page or one of the outside cubes to shrink it down into the area that I want it to be. I'm happy with the size. I can save my drawing, save as, and I'm just going to save that in my school drive as my first drawing. And there we have our first 2D design drawing.